Boom. What up, YouTube? LTH coming at you with another video. 713, the Bio City Web in here. So I did cover that pre-cap of Steelers versus Texans in that preseason. Though, I did leave out some, some parts in that video as far as, you know, K. Stover having them, you know, doing what he did his thing, made some plays. Along with Cam Akers, you know, he did, you know, got him some playing time, you know, made some plays here and there. Though, I know it's kind of a little early to tell right now, but Cam Akers is looking like RB2, unless Damian Pierce steps up. But I ain't easily throwing, giving, away, giving up on Damian Pierce right now. But he got, he kind of need to step up for sure. He really do need to step up for sure. Him and John Mechie. And, you know, Kalen Bullock did his thing too. And that, you know, from USC. And that cornerback that the Texans drafted from Georgia has yet to see playing time. So hopefully he gets to see playing time against the Giants next weekend. You know, when they play at NRG at noon. You know, but though I wouldn't be surprised if I had to work that day. But let's talk about it. You know, what I want to see is that cornerback from Georgia, you know, seeing playing time and some of the starters that didn't play, you know, maybe not all the starters, but some of the starters that didn't see action, you know, get to get some reps in for sure. And of course, I understand that, you know, still got some things to cut down on, including the, you know, the big plays. You know, whether it's starters or backups or not, still got to work on cutting down the big plays. And what to wa want to watch for is Damian Pierce, how he and can Damian Pierce and John Mechie step it up for sure. Because if Mechie can step up for next weekend and the week weekend after next, I mean, he can make the team. But, man, he got his work cut out for him for sure. And Kenyon Green and Juice Scruggs, if I'm not mistaken, you know, or Shaq Mason, one of them, you know, but they look pretty, they look pretty solid, you know, thus far, you know, just got to keep it, keep up, keep it up a notch. And hey, I wouldn't be surprised if Kenyon Green is just the starting left guard for sure. Just as long as that all whole offensive line stays healthy. I know Titus Howard didn't play, but got to rest him up. You know, can't afford to risk further injury on him after we just paid him look like last off season. Sure. So, I mean, yeah, I was all for it, but sometimes you just got to be careful who what who they pay, cause you never know how they turn out after they get paid. <laughs> Even. Even when I'm rooting for them to succeed under the contract they got, the contract extension, you know, considering the amount of money spent on that, on the offensive line, you know, got to protect C.J. Stroud at all costs, considering the fact that the Texans got to face off against the Colts, Jags, and the Titans D-line, which is going to be pretty, pretty brutal in 24. And yeah, they do play them twice a year. And of course, some other opposing D linemen that Houston got to face in 24. So, you know, I can see the starters along with Stroud, Collins, Diggs, and Dale getting some more reps in. And you know, you know, let Don Schultz get some reps in as well. You know, but I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't get any in. So, yeah, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, I could see the Giants playing their starters as well, you know, either for a half, a quarter, or two. I mean, who knows for both teams or how they play their starters. But as I said, it's basically like who, who makes the 53 man roster. And of course, it's not, you know, Damian Pierce in. John Mechie are the all players out right now. So still got two more weeks to turn it around. But like I say, they got their work cut out for them. You know, Robert Woods has looked good. You know, the the veteran. 
along with Hutchinson and the Cam Makers. He looked good. You know, Petrie, you know, and Kalen Bullet. And then and of course, like I mentioned, the Neil Hunter, you know, got him a sack and and Mario Edwards in that in that former Jaguar D line the Texans got. But they look pretty solid as well, you know. Hopefully they can get better and better, you know, because we're going to need them to step it up in the, in the wake of the Nico Autry six-game suspension being in effect currently, which is unfortunate, you know, thanks to some PEDs, you know, which could, which will ruin players' careers, you know, depending on how they respond, since it's all about the mental thing. But what to watch for? Like, the most I'll be watching for John Mechie, Damian Pierce, and, of course, you know, defensive rookies. So that's something I, I will, I'll be, be on the lookout for and see how the defense, you know, cut down on the limit the big plays. Because, yeah, that third string, either with backups, there were times that the Texans looked shaky through the through the air, the pass defense. So got to cut down on that because can't go into week one giving giving up big plays after big plays through the air and the ground. So yeah, so again, I could care less about what the result is like. So I just want to see how you know the players that are fighting for us play for a fifty three man roster. Bears for sure, so there's that, you know. Put my two cents into this and to my next video. And I may and I normally do predictions like before like hmm, let's say like three days prior, you know. I might st I might do predictions like man, even you know, I don't do pre Week one predictions, regular season predictions during the preseason. But, hey, I'm thinking about doing so, you know, this week. So, actually be on the lookout for that. And, of course, I'm going post to post my weekly predictions on Twitter as well. So, be on the watch out for that. But, until my next video, which will be like NFL week one regular season predictions, you know, to my next video. LTH checking on the body hill, 713 to Bio City. Always and forever. Go Houston Texans. Forget the haters. I'm out. Peace.